I'm going to show you the best way to protect files and folders with a password on a Mac. There's no easy way to add a password to individual files and folders, but I feel like this is actually a better way to protect your sensitive files. We're going to create a disk image, which acts like a folder and holds all your sensitive files behind a single password. You're going to open Disk Utility and create a new blank image. Give it a name, choose your encryption mode, and type the password you want to use. The longer the password, the more secure it is. You can create a standard disk image with a fixed file size, but I prefer to use a sparse bundle format instead because they are more flexible when it comes to file size. If you create a 100 gigabyte standard image, it will take up 100 gigabytes of hard drive space even if you don't have any files inside it. But when you make it a sparse bundle, the actual file size will only be as much as the size of the files you're storing inside. I'm gonna make mine 500 gigabytes just to make sure it never runs out of space. Once that's done, you'll see a sparse bundle image here. You can think of this as a folder that's protected with a password. Open it and you'll be prompted for a password. After entering your password, you'll see your disk image here, listed similarly to an external hard drive. Now it's time to move our sensitive files in here. I'll use these screen recordings as an example and copy them in here. Once they've been copied over, I can delete the originals and empty my trash to make sure no one without the password can access these files. Now my files are accessible here on the disk image, and when I want to hide them, I can just unmount the disk image. After that, all that's visible is the disk image and its name, but you can't see any of the contents without the password. So that's how you protect files and folders behind a password on macOS. It might seem complicated at first, but once you've created the disk image, it's super simple. Just think of it as a folder that requires a password to be opened. Drop me a comment below if this was helpful, and for more quick tutorials, slap the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.